not feel uncomfortable and maybe do a video like I've been doing, that I've done, to tell you what you can expect during this period and what you can do to treat it and to also know what what the doc what they have not what doctors and have not told you or any or the government or so what they have not told you during this now just to know the vaccine side effects and all that will be pretty much similar to the same ones that that people will go through that people have went through when they had when they had the virus when they had the virus or if they do now I'm just saying the effects are different for each person mostly it's just mostly uh, mostly it's just main, mainly aches and pains and headaches this real um now to prevent the aches and pains i would suggest pain reliever and epsom salts baths epsom salts baths the headaches especially if you get migraines and such you might want to stay in the dark for a while like in dimly lit areas say like having a uh, pair of glass a pair of sunglasses on hand or a blindfold and try to sleep and just try to sleep now after the 28 day the 21 to 28 days after you've taken your back the first dose of the vaccine you'll be scheduled to get the second dose now the second dose are milder will have mild effects will be mild compared to what you went through in the first in the first one in the first one or the first dose but you do got to realize it's different each person now there's still even though they have not released any all information on it there's they don't know enough about it just yet or at least that's what they're saying or they know enough but they don't want to release all the information now what I've told you on here is what you need to know about the virus and the treatments you can use to get up to help you get over it and to get over it make sure you also get a lot of rest during this because you're going to need it and use some vacation time to take off to take off even if you have to relax at home or to get a get a get away for a little bit for a different dose of scenery now the second now the second dose will be mild will be mild compared to the first dose compared to the first dose i don't know what to expect but most, I will be honest, the deaths that have occurred from the people, from some of the people that have, uh, now the deaths that had occurred during the time some people have taken, that have taken it, are, is very rare, but, is very rare. But most of the deaths were from allergic reactions because the Food and Drug Administration is allowing most of these most of these all a lot of these vaccines to come through because there's still not enough research on a lot of these vaccines but they want to get the vaccines out there but mostly because there is some there are some chemicals in the vaccine that there are that people are allergic to but you also have to realize all of the vaccines are not the same are not the same yes they produce they produce the same effects in getting and preventing you from getting it now um i did forget to explain what the vaccine actually is it's not it is not the it is not the covid-19 virus itself what the vaccine is it is a coating it's a coating that will go on your cells now once you've taken it and going through the side effects what the vaccine is is a coating that will get on your cells to keep your cells from getting infected uh, by the virus by the virus that's what it is now the side effects are pretty can be pretty strong from what I've read but it, but as I said it's different for each person I don't know enough about the vaccine just yet but I'm going to keep an eye on what, on what, um, on what it's doing to the pup, what it's doing to people, and uh, from there, I'll make my judgment. But I'm going to be honest. 
Um, after you've gotten, after you've, uh, after you've already caught the virus, do not take the vaccine after you've just gotten over the virus. You will have 90 days worth of antibodies to, la to last you from the day you, your quarantine ended 90 days from then. After your 90 days are over, then you can qualify to take the vaccine. Okay? Now, I've read where most people have died, where most people have passed, is because they got the vaccine too early. What would you think would happen if you had to experience the same effects during the same and the same symptoms you went through the first time? Through the first time that you had it, and then you just had, then you take the vaccine, and then you go through those same symptoms again. Except, except probably double of what you were used to. Well, that's what's pretty much going to do. Pretty much what I have determined that will happen. Now, the side effects are pretty much the same as the virus was. But since you have antibodies, you're used, you have went through it, and you know what to, what you'll expect. What you'll expect. Now, uh, many of us are different on us, on the vaccine, okay? I'm... I'm going to give it some time a little bit, even even though I don't qualify for the vaccine right now because I've already had the virus and I have to wait 90 days. I'm going to wait at least a month or two after my 90 days are up. And then when the vaccine is finally is finally available, then I will go ahead and get, I will go ahead and take the vaccine myself. And I will keep all of you posted during after I've gotten the vaccine after I've taken the vaccine I will tell you what I felt and what the side effects I felt were even though most people don't want to tell anybody but people have got to know what to expect during this time and what to expect that the virus actually is and what this and what they will go through to similar situations Okay? I know it's hard, but you can't be afraid of the virus. Okay? Best thing you can do is try to make yourself comfortable during the time and try to keep your mind occupied and try not to, and do try not to think about the virus. Try not to think about the negatives on it. Think about the positives. Okay? Now, during my time during my corn during my quarantine I was able to get closer to my Lord and to my Lord now I am a Christian and I was able to get a lot of Bible reading done and able to get closer to knowing my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on a better level and feeding my soul with his word with his word through the Bible I would highly encourage all Christians to use this time of your quarantine to do a lot of Bible reading and doing some devo doing your daily devotionals and getting closer to God. I would highly suggest this. Everyone else, it's your choice if you decide if you decide to do that or not. But as I said, stay busy. But don't overexert yourself. Make sure you get plenty of sleep and plenty of everything. Okay? And another good idea, make sure you have some fresh make sure you have some fruit on hand. Because fruit will definitely help will definitely help during it. Especially um, <coughs> during it. And uh, make sure you also have some herbs on hand too. Because you're also going to need some herbs to go in the Epsom salts to make them a little stronger, to make them a little bit stronger. Like say uh, white willow bark, for instance. Uh, you, for example, 
if you mix that when you mix that in with your Epsom salts, uh, white willow bark will help uh, your back pains. It will help relieve the back will help relieve your back pain if you if your uh, if your body absorbs some white willow bark. Now I would highly suggest maybe grinding that stuff into dust and then mixing it in with your Epsom salts along with some other herbs that are safe, that are good fever reducers and pain relievers, like um, uh, along with the white willow bark, eucalyptus leaves are good, and uh, and uh, mugwort is also good. It's also a good fever reducer in, in Epsom salts baths. Now, <coughs> I don't know how long it's going to be after my 90 days are over. After I've taken the vaccine, I will tell all of you, beside, I will tell you all the effects I go through during that period of time. And after, and after I'm done, and after my time with that, after the second dose. I'm going to do a series of these little videos and keep all of you updated on all this, even though this video has ran for over an hour. You know what to expect during it now, and now you know the truth. I'll see y'all soon whenever I, just, whenever I qualify for the vaccine. I'll see y'all later.